everyone, this is Dasit the most handsome Yekebo African nations are only pumping a fizzy pound husband. And as usual, I have my only pepperoni sugarlicious hot baby. Oh, oh, cool girl. Baby girl. <laughs> yeah, my name is Joquette Oluan Setro, and you are highly welcome to the Setro's Work family. If this is your first time of coming by, please don't forget to subscribe and like. I want to say a big thank you to all that have been helping us on this course of transforming the lives of the African youth with our Setro's Foundation. So, what are we bringing to you today? It is happening right here on the continent of Africa, right here in Nigeria to be precise. A country that is already going through a series of unrest because of the upcoming general election in just about three weeks from now. And her uh, to now add Naira or money scarcity to it, it's another level of Ulwa Balo Bulaba Abi, what did they used to call it? Balabulu. I don't understand what you're trying to say, but that is a situation <laughs> of blah blah blah. <laughs> Why is she smiling? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me just tell you something. I don't see any reason why this should be a problem to all of us in Nigeria, especially based on the fact that the characteristics of money is scarcity. So money getting scarce this period in time should not be a problem. It's only because the introduction of blah blah blue is now making it to be more complex than we can comprehend. As the Apex Bank of Nigeria, which is called the Central Bank of Nigeria, has already issued that the old Naira notes would not be spent again from the 31st of January 2023 and the new notes are nowhere to be found. It is not a challenge, I tell you, because it's just three weeks, three big weeks to election and the central bank is saying we are changing the Naira note to curb some circumstances of Iswenus. <laughs> but this has been making it to look like a situation of blue, blah, blue. Now, the challenge is that what we are now seeing is that people are getting into the banks and after saving their hard earned chicken change, because it's not much money, there is no much money in circulation already, but now the little that they have saved in the bank, they are coming for withdrawal, they can't get it. They are coming to save their old currency so that they can get the brand new currency and lo and behold, the brand new currency are not available. At all. But where are you going to be seeing this brand new currency? Because Nigeria is now like the headquarter of black market. For petroleum, you'll be in black, you have to get it in black market. For even your wife, you have to get it in black market if <laughs> it's not careful. Now, new currency notes is not available in any of these banks, but you will see them being sold at the entrance to parties, functions, and the likes. So the people are getting it off here. And that is how, why you are going to be seeing some of the videos showing below. Number one video that we are going to show you is Naked Woman. In the banking in the hall. Banking hall. Oh, that close account to me. That close account to me. Me no more. That close account to me. Me no more. 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 Because this woman adds some little change in her account and her children have not been able to go to school. This is real pain here, yeah, real suffering. People having just a little amount in their bank account, they can't withdraw, they can't transfer, they can't do anything and they can't uh, exchange goods and services for it. The battle system is not in operation again. So what do you want them to do? This woman just went crazy. She went gaga. She just said, you will, you will see where they today. Remove that clothes in the banking or instantly they said, come, come, what go away. So, but that is not a problem. It's just showing you that for you to withdraw your money from Nigerian banks now, you need to have a little spice of madness. The same goes to the next video you are going to see. Now is the turn of a man to remove his shirt so that he can get paid. <laughs> What you say about an old man, an old man, see pain in, at the extreme. He's just been drinking cassava flakes for past days. The 21,000 Naira that is just about uh, $30 that he has in his account, he doesn't have access to it and his children and all that. This is, this is too painful as in... 
Twenty one thousand only. I want to job. What time? Guy, you want to Guy, will you come to do? I don't know what to say. Now we go to the third video. The third video you are going to be seeing. This one is highly pathetic. As people are now taking laws into their hands, they are beginning to attack banks by stoning, breaking, and entry, and this is not supposed to be. Another scenario you will see is this funny part because in Nigeria now, people now cook money. Yes, read my lips. You cook your money. You have to cook your money so that you can achieve the kind of color of the present new note. So what people are now doing is to get old notes and cook it to get a new note instead of going into the banks to deposit the old currency. So with us at the Secretary's vlog here, you know, no matter how serious that news is, we still try to make it funny. We are only quick quick. Only quick quick. It's a symptom of mm, blah blah blah. blah, blah. <laughs> So that's it. Although it's painful right here in Africa, we are going to come out of it. And that's why we at the Cetrus Vlog, we have a foundation called the Cetrus Foundation, in which we are transforming the lives of the African youth by doing what? Picking them from the streets. Indigent African youth, but diligent, and they want to learn a craft, they don't know how to go about it. Please, if you know such youth, let them reach out to us. We train them on their desired skill or craft. We buy them their startup machines, and we also see to it that they get to be making money from whatever they've learned. And that is what we are doing as our own quarter to the society. So, and that's it. I want to say thank you to all that have been helping us on this program. And if you want to help us, kindly see our GoFundMe account or you could check our website, Central Foundation's website, and see those that have been helped and the updates. We want to say thank you very much. And if you are a youth around Lagos, Nigeria to be specific, 
and you are looking for space for some of the crafts that you've learned over time, or you are looking for a space to use for content building and the likes, we have a free space for you to use here, and we can also support you with our gadgets to work with. So kindly reach out to us and let's see how we can pull some of this indigent or diligent youth out of the rubble. Thank you. Thank you so very much. So till we come your way next time in the next video, please don't forget the joy therapy. Yes, that's what cures it all. Whatever the tension in the world, anywhere, just sit back, relax. Make sure you keep your joy because your joy is your strength and your strength is your life. Yes. And in case your spouse is just around you, just grab her as if you are holding a live tension wire and tell me the result next time. <laughs> okay, catch you. Love you. Bye-bye. Yeah.